Hi, I'm Susan North Gilboa, director of the Our Space LA programs at Valley Beshalom Synagogue. Since 1984, BBS has opened its doors to individuals with special needs and unique abilities who were seeking a place to call home. As coordinator and director, I have tried to enhance and create social music and arts programs and turn dreams into reality for this part of our community. One such dream was to offer lifelong Jewish learning to a group of adults who were aging out of our programs but still wanted a place to come together. So the artistic spectrum of Jewish learning was born. Since March of 2020, we have continued to socialize and gather and share life cycle events throughout the pandemic. For most of the Aerospace LA community, those hours together have been among the best moments of our weeks. For the second time now, after a year of Zooming and creating works of art, we are pleased to present our virtual art gallery. This year's theme for Our Space LA was filling our lives with Kavanah, Kihila, and Tikva. Kavanah, intention and purpose, we focused on the importance of doing rituals, being present in the moment and setting goals which can help keep us balanced in tough times. Kihila, community, we focused on the importance of community, looking at our connections, our differences, and our similarities. We learned how to build, rely on, and sustain those connections as we journey through life together. Tikva, hope. We focused on the importance of staying hopeful. To have hope is to want an outcome that improves our life in some way. It not only may make a difficult situation more bearable, but can also improve our lives. That's because envisioning a better future motivates one to take the steps to make it happen. These three ideas were discussed, explored, and interpreted into the art that you are about to view. We hope that you will rejoice in the beauty of this artwork and be inspired by it as well. This year, with Kavana, with a strong kila, and with Tikva for better days, I dedicate the 12th Annual Art Gallery to my dear friend Tikva, Tiki Paley Zichron Levracha, who was like a sister to me. Tiki passed away earlier this year. She was a part of the larger Valley and VBS community and an integral part of our Havura, our group of friends. As a preschool teacher, Tiki touched hundreds of children's lives and of course the lives of her own loving family and friends. I dedicate this evening to Tiki because of her passion for art. She was a creative and innovative person on many levels, including as an artist herself with a love of painting. When I created the Artistic Spectrum of Jewish Learning Program, Tiki was the first to RSVP and to show up at every annual gallery. She never left without purchasing one of the pieces. Her home remains filled with her own artwork and those of our adult artists. So in loving memory of my dear friend, I dedicate tonight to Tiki. May her memory continue to be a blessing as we honor the work created by our participants. Moon Cycles, the Cycles of Our Lives with Roni. We began this year by highlighting the importance of rituals, as well as paying attention to the rituals with Kavanah, or intention. Doing rituals on a regular and consistent basis helps us stay grounded, balanced, as well as gives us a sense of comfort. The Jewish calendar is guided by lunar cycles, meaning that with every new month, we celebrate a new moon. The moon cycle symbolizes the constant change we undergo as humans. The moon may take many different shapes and names, wax, wean, full, half, new. However, even through these different phases, knowing that other people in our community are celebrating this cycle too, especially in times of uncertainty and isolation, gives us a sense of belonging.
What do you feel when you are creating art? Creative. Why do you think it makes you feel that way? Because I like to accomplish things. How or what did you feel when we came together on Sundays for art? I was happy to be with the group. What inspires you or helps you to have hope? Uh, knowing that I see my friends and teacher every week. Did you have any Shekianu moments while you were with Our Space LA on Sunday mornings that you would like to share? My Shekianu moments are when my teachers say good job. Hi, my name is Maya, and I've been an Our Space LA volunteer since 2014. The story of Noah's Ark comes to a close when the dove retrieves and brings Noah an olive branch. The dove is a symbol for life and hope and the appearance of the rainbow became a sign of hope and promise. Tikva, or hope, gives us the strength and courage to thrive and persevere through difficult times. We wanted to provide our artists with an opportunity to express their feelings of hope through art. My name is Jerry. Uh, what do you feel when you're creating? I'd be happy. When I'm happy, I love to do art. Okay, why do you love to do art? I, because I love art because I do art every Sunday on June. Okay, and how did you feel when you came together on Sundays with your friends? Happy. Did you have any favorite moments? Mommy, I was, I was cooking with Laura and Dad. Cooking with Laura and Dad? Yes. Why did you like that? Because I miss Laura a lot. Hi, my name is Steve North. I'm a veteran broadcast and print journalist, a longtime enthusiastic supporter of Our Space LA, and coincidentally, the brother of Susan North Gilboa. Spreading Seeds of Hope with Roni. Tikva, hope, is something that can be shared and passed along from generation to generation. Seeds are a symbol of growth. We scatter seeds of hope, not always knowing where they will take root and what the outcome will be. However, we do know that continuing to disperse and plant seeds of hope is the best way to move forward. We also understand that when hope is rooted in our kihila, our community, it can have a significant impact on others, whether near or far.
Journeying through an unprecedented time with Roni. Visual imagery is a tool used to help us understand, conceptualize, and embody hope. Sometimes we feel a need to see in order to believe. This art piece was inspired by the professional artist Harriet Powers. We began by imagining the day that we'll be able to be together again and holding hands with friends. When we think about the future, we keep that hope in our hearts. But we also learned about appreciating beautiful moments in the present time. So when we were going for a walk, enjoying nature, and appreciating those who are currently with us, we learn to be in the moment. What do you feel when you are creating art? Happy. Why do you think it makes you feel that way? Because I like to do art a lot. How or what did you feel when we came together on Sundays for art? I was really happy because I like the painting. What inspires you or helps you to have hope? I like hope because it makes me feel happy and comfortable. Did you have any Shehekianu moments while you were with Our Space LA on Sunday mornings that you would like to share? Yeah, my, my Shehekianu moments are when I see my friend. This piece was inspired by the professional artist Gustav Klimt. Our artist created community gardens, a Gan Kehila, to represent the beauty of diversity found in our neighborhoods. Gardens are full of many different flowers with different shapes, colors, fragrances, all resulting in a beautiful garden and resembling the fabric of our communities. Our communities are made up of people from all different origins. Those cultural differences have led us to create rich dynamic threads of history, culture, and experiences, resulting in a beautiful garden of humanity. We hope that you enjoy seeing our community gardens and the next time that you take a walk in your own neighborhood, you celebrate the beauty of diversity too. My name is David Saventoa. 
when I'm clear out, I feel that it's the only time that my mind can really take a break. Creating it makes me feel that way because my mind is always running with idea, and it's just a nice movie thing. Music inspiring me and gives me hope. Music is all of that for me, and especially making my music. It gets me focused, and I am most inspiring by all of the people I have been able to interview. Cecilia moments are very special for me. I am always feeling it, but I have to quiet my mind first to let it in. We are on our way to much greater days. Thank you to everyone at our space. The sounds and rhythms of our community with Roni, everything you can imagine is real. This piece of art was inspired by Pablo Picasso, highlighting asymmetrical and eclectic ways in which we perceive people, objects, places, emotions, and more importantly, music. Through music, we can all connect regardless of how we digest and process our differences. Even though we are dynamic and complex human beings with a variety of emotions and feelings and circumstances, music has been a consistent force that drives and connects people together. Music can provide and harness its own type of culture and community. Through music, there is community. Using Picasso to delineate this concept seemed apropos and our artists were able to reflect their individualistic responses and feelings to music by using Picasso-inspired styles. Looking through and beyond the darkness with Ronnie, Paul, and Samantha. We often use different colors to show different feelings. This time we started with dark oil pastels and we created a big dark shape in the front of our painting. Uh, a mountain, a rock, uh, an ocean. And in the back of it, we filled it with bright watercolors um, that to symbol um, hope that is just shining through the darkness, through the dark times. Uh, although we talked a lot about darkness and coming through the darkness, we wanted to, the participant to think uh, that dark times are not only hard and miserable uh, and we wanted them to use many different um, dark colors to show the beauty um, that in this journey um, that sometimes is hard but sometimes is joyful and interesting and c could lead at the end to the end that is uh, full of hope, but it's also beautiful in itself.
Our Light of Hope Diminishes the Darkness with Ronnie, Paul, and Samantha. This week was a continuation of the previous week, and this time we started with the light. So the participants um, just started with a light oil pastel color, and they created a, just an abstract shape in the middle of the painting. And this shape, uh, we wanted them to think about the light uh, that comes from within them. Um, and then with dark colors, oil pastels or watercolor, they, they created the background, the dark back background. Uh, we wanted them to think about the light that they, that they spread, the hope that they can find uh, in them, uh, the power and the strength that they can find in them in these hard times, and how we spread it uh, in our community, we spread it to others, um, we make these challenging times um, be better, be just joyful. We find um, beautiful moments. We find um, nice, pleasant memories um, in these hard times, but also very interesting times. Um, times that taught us a lot of things that maybe we didn't know that um, we could handle. And hope and strength that was always in us. Um, so all of this was represented with the light and it just um, shined through um, the darkness. Mandalas. On January 1st, 2021, we welcomed the new year. These mandalas represent welcoming change. Leaves exemplify change, transformation, and the seasons and time. These mandalas represent the idea of bringing the outside world, specifically from nature, into our homes, and together with our family, we look forward to the days when we will be welcoming other people back into our homes. But while waiting, we find other ways to welcome and connect with others. Participants were asked to gather leaves from convenient places in their neighborhood. They traced leaves using different colors and cut them out to create three-dimensional designs. Then we learned what we can do to recycle, modify, reuse, and reimagine. We welcome the changes that occur.
All right, Samir. So what do you feel when you are creating art? I feel happy about that. You know, I really feel happy about that. So when you're creating art, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel happy. Why, why does it make you feel that way? Uh, so I can do like different, like Jewish, uh, some centerpieces for the holidays and all that. So using your art to celebrate Jewish holidays. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So whenever you log into art classes on Sundays, how does that make you feel when oh, you're seeing your friends? Great. Mm -hmm. I miss them a lot though. Hopefully I'll, hopefully I'll get to see them soon after the pandemic is over. So this has been a really difficult year and we've had to remain hopeful. What, yeah. what does hope mean to you? Oh, it's a tough question. You know? What inspires you to have hope? To get, not, not to have war in this world. Working volunteering makes me feel energized. When you volunteer? Yeah. Yeah, makes you feel good? Yeah. Like you're doing a, a good thing. But those boxes are heavy. Do you have any Chefiano moments while oh, you were- Oh, really? Yeah, in Our Space LA for Sunday morning? Our Space? Mm-hmm. That's what Cindy was asking me. Mm -hmm. What are some of your Chefiana moments? Uh, to have the end of the year art gallery. What's something that you'd like to say to everyone who has made our space happen? I really appreciate your hard work, Susan. Thank you very Have a good one. That was a good one. Hi, my name is Haley Schneider. I've been with Our Space LA for six years now. This next project is the Shabbat and Holiday Rituals, the Kiddush Cups, the Natit Lat Yadayim, and Challah Plates with Paul, Roni, and Samantha. The Shabbat rituals and holidays keep us connected and add harmony to our lives, gathering around the table with our families, singing, saying Kaddish, and the blessings of the Natit Yadayim and Hamotzi give us a sense of comfort and joy while we link our ancestors as well as our future generations together. Sustaining our tree of life Zentangle with Paul, Roni, and Samantha. The Zentangle represents repetition of patterns, routine, and order. This art form is often used to help calm the nervous system. Routines and rituals help us stay grounded and balanced, as well as connecting us to something beyond ourselves. Nature itself has its own routines and cycles that keep our planet sustainable. Trees grow with seeds, earth, water, light and care. With regular needed care, trees take root and become strong. The trunk becomes grounded and branches grow. Then leaves, flower buds, and or fruits appear. Fruit is harvested, flowers are picked or they wilt, and leaves fall. Strong roots allow these cycles to repeat 
and flourish. Masks, hiding and revealing our true selves with Roni. Masks can hide us and reveal us, underlining the duality that is highlighted with wearing masks on Purim. We use masks to hide ourselves and disguise our physical and personality traits from others. We use masks to keep ourselves hidden from personal protection. Masks are also often used to accentuate the things that we want to hide from others. Masks are used to unveil the things that are hidden from within us, and masks can also be used to keep us healthy. Hi everyone, my name is Eva Hyam and I'm a guest artist with Valley Bit Shalom Artistic Spectrum. I work abstractly, uh, painting and uh, collage work, and uh, I feel honored to be part of this terrific program, which I've been with probably since its inception. Um, the participants bring me so much joy in seeing their wonderful take on whatever project we're working on, and it's great to work with Susan Gilboa, uh, Ronnie, the other staff members, including the wonderful volunteers as well. This year, I was the project that I wanted to work with them on through Zoom was the internal and external light that we have, which brings us hope. Um, and the way that I thought we can go about it was to create an Er Tamid, which is in front of the Torah arcs in the synagogue, and it's a reminder that God's presence is always with us, even in difficult times. And this light shone in, with the candelabras in the Holy Temple. Uh, every single day the light was lit. Um, and since we don't have the Holy Temple any longer, uh, we have this near Tamid in the synagogues to remind us of that godly light. Um, so what we did for the project was we took some bright colored day glow paper and we tore tissue paper strips and uh, glued them down and went around it with metallic gold uh, paint, um, took a paintbrush and painted around each, each piece to give it a, a feel of stained glass. And then these pieces were wrapped around a cylinder container uh, and we hung uh, either a string or a pipe cleaner around it. Um, so even if it didn't have light, we f the brightness of it was a constant reminder of the hope that and the light that was, is with us internally and externally in our surroundings. 
um, if, if we just pay attention to, to them. And I just want to give one quote by the poet laureate, poet laureate Amanda Gorman, which is, The new dawn blooms as we free it, for there is always light if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. So I'm hoping that this project was a reminder that we can be hopeful and uh, there's always light within us and God is always surrounding us, even in the difficult times. Uh, it was a pleasure to, to work with everybody this year. Hope to do it again. Thank you. leaving narrow spaces in search of freedom. This past year, we had to walk on an unknown path. We didn't know how long it would take us to cross through this, nor what awaited us on the other side. Yet we gathered strength and patience and went on this new journey together. From slavery to freedom, we journeyed out of Egypt in search of better days and ways to control our own destiny. From quarantine to slowly emerging to in-person, we celebrate coming together while also embracing a new normal. Ezra Fieldsmeyer. Ezra, what do you feel when you're creating art? Calm, relaxed, excited, and happy when I'm doing these things. Why do you think it makes you feel that way? Because it makes me feel good and I like creating and producing things. Okay, and how did you feel when we all got together on Sundays this year to do art? I felt excited that I was together with my friends. Okay, and how, what about with the pandemic? It was a lot of uncertainty, but I thought it was a good and fun and cool alternative. 
And when you have uncertainty like that, what inspires you or what gives you hope? I just have hope and faith and keep having hope and faith and never giving up on it. And did you have any Shehechianu moments this year with our space? Yes, like fun and exciting new things I got to do on Sundays. And it was really exciting for me. Elijah's Cup and Bull Spore Herosnit. Each year during the Passover Seders, we place Kos Eliyahu, or Elijah's Cup, in the center of our table. Elijah is associated with the hope of the arrival of the Messiah and the ushering in an era of peace, justice, and harmony throughout the world. When each person at your Seder table helps to fill Elijah's cup with some of their own wine, it reminds us that when everyone participates in tikkun olam, repairing the world, there is hope that in the not-so-distant future, we will feel like the Messiah has arrived. Welcome. My name is Daphne Gilboa. I'm an artist and an art teacher. I paint mostly in watercolor, acrylic, and oil. I belong to several art groups and exhibit with them often. I'm thankful to Susan Gilboa for the opportunity to teach this wonderful group year after year. When I was told about the theme for this year, I chose Kavana, meaning intention. And the first media that came to mind was watercolor. Watercolor is a unique media, full of unexpected surprises. The artist might start with an idea, but the outcome might be very different. Just as its name, watercolor, the paint moves with water and flow on the paper. It is transparent and gives a sense of lightness. It can be manipulated just by changing the amount of water on the brush. Colors mix beautifully by touching each other on a wet paper or by mixing on a palette. I chose to make monochromatic painting. I chose three colors of blues and black so the participant could create a range of dark and light values. The color white in watercolor is usually created by leaving the white of the paper untouched. The subject matter was ocean, or more the feeling it leaves on each of us. I wanted our adult participant to paint loosely to explore how the pigment interact with water and with each other. In order for them to have no judgment, I asked them to split the page to a few areas using white masking tape. Then they apply paint on the whole paper, applying brush strokes in different direction and speed using the different blues and trying to leave some white of the paper. After the painting dried, they had to remove the tape and discovered that each space had its own composition and created a little painting by itself. I enjoyed the process very much and I hope you did too. And I hope that the audience, all of you here, enjoying the whole art show. And hopefully next year, please God, we will meet all again in person and healthy. Thank you for coming.
A Light in the Forest. Lagba Omer is a minor holiday that occurs on the 33rd day of the Omer, the 49-day period that is counted between Passover and Shavuot. In Israel, Lagba Omer is a day for picnics and bonfires. Throughout the world, Jews of all backgrounds can light their own fire. They can shine a light on the idea that acceptance and appreciation of Jewish diversity is essential to our survival. movement and dance. Moving your body in a rhythmic pattern is referred to as dancing, and humans express themselves through movement. Dance is both a form of creation and an art that can show a mood, express emotions, and tell a story. This year, we all had lots of emotions to express and stories to tell. Moving and zooming together while we were still apart gave us a feeling of being connected and together with our kahila or community. Jerusalem united as one with Ronnie, Paul, and Samantha. This piece was created in celebration of Jerusalem Day. We learned about the diversity of uh, the city, a city of many different people from different cultures, religions, um, beliefs, uh, and backgrounds. We also talked about um, how the city is so special for many different people around the world, using different colors and different shapes uh, to create, to represent the diversity of the city and the diversity of the many different buildings that were built in it uh, during the history. Um, so we used that and we wanted to think about how Jerusalem could be, hopefully, a light to other nations and a symbol of hope, unity, and just living together in peace, accepting the people that are uh, different from us. My name is Jennifer St. Jude. What do you feel when you are creating art? I used to feel really stressed um, with the creative process of art because 
I was someone who needed specific rules and direction to complete a step or to do a task. Um, and it made me really uncomfortable, uh, the open-endedness of art. But now, um, it's different now, it's gotten better and I can actually get lost in the art and feel peaceful. Why do you think it makes you feel that way? Um, my life was really regulated by, you know, rule-based and following rules and steps and direction, just memorizing all of them. Um, and art is the antithesis of rules. So it was uncomfortable, but um, I feel free now and it brings me peace because I can, I can just be released from all that and feel like I can go in any direction I want artistically. So it's, it's nice. Um, how or what did you feel when you came together on Sundays for art? Um, at first, it was really, really challenging because of the talking and socializing and following steps was really difficult and I felt really defeated when I struggled with it and I couldn't, I couldn't do it easily. But all the participants and the staff were really supportive and encouraging and everything got a lot better. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and they made me feel like there was somewhere that I belonged. And I felt like I was with my people and that made me happy. Um, what inspires you or helps you have hope? Um, all the participants and the staff do. They bring hope to every moment that we're together. Um, they never stop encouraging each other. Even when they're struggling with their own stuff, they don't stop being kind and supportive to everyone. Um, they make me feel like there's goodness and light in the world. And that brings me hope. Did you have any Shakiana moments while you were with Our Space LA on Sunday mornings that you would like to share? Um, yes, I was so locked into the specific directions and rules of each part project. Um, and then, and it was really challenging and I was really struggling um, because a lot of art is, you know, you can color this any color you want. You can pick whichever one you want to do. And that was really challenging for me. Um, and then it was literally one moment, one painting, where I just broke free from the wall that I put up around making everything follow this path. Um, and I finally felt able to make creative choices and break free from that self-imposed prison of sorts. Um, and And now, I feel, I feel happy because I, I feel free to create and I don't feel like there are walls around me anymore. So, thank you. My name is Michael Rosenbaum. Every art piece I do, I do in Disney themes. It makes me feel like an artist. I feel excited and joyful. I love doing art with my friends. And being creative, I bet too. Create something new when I get to do art with my friends. It is 
very meaningful. It feels great. I have hope because the light in me comes to everybody's heart and their light comes to my heart. My Kekiano moment was when I got to lead the Mabila for Purim. I also loved singing and making videos for Kolotifa. I love you, Art Space. We hope that you have enjoyed hearing about what inspired the creation of the various art pieces, as well as hearing from and learning about our participants, teachers, and guest artists. We hope that as you move forward with Kavana, Akihila, and a sense of Tikva, you take the time to find your own Shekhiano moments. Thank you for joining us this evening, and if you or someone you know might be interested in joining Our Space LA, please send them my way. Our Space LA at vbs.org. Thank you and Todaraba.
了。